I distributed challenges. What you have. Well, that's what I meant. It's a good start. How many dates we can work within? Because we have to work around everybody else's schedule. I'm going to bring that up because last last meeting we, we had so many things that we wanted to get educated on on various topics, mm -hmm. and we actually discussed the potential need to have a June meeting, and I noticed that June was not circled. So that's why I say it's still subject to change in that you respect. You let me finish. Okay. Always. I just began. <laughs> I handed you out a schedule. <laughs> I sit down with Christine every year and drum out a schedule concentrating on making sure that we have all our third Tuesdays, that is a regular meeting for this committee, the third Tuesday of every month. But they're on the calendar. I'm getting to the summer, all right, as well as scheduling enough meetings in the fall through the Christmas season, through the end of the year in January cover all the things we have to cover. There will be changes to this as well as there will be additions to and, and definitions on the dates as to what departments will, will tackle. Uh -huh. All right. As it worked out this year, doing it this far in advance was advantageous because we built in some snow dates last year and we were able to have a horrendous winter where dates had to be moved and we had the dates to move them to. So that is to say already on this calendar you have one or two more dates than you need. By the time we actually start budget rounds you will probably have a couple of dates added to it. But for those of you who like to plan ahead of time, vacations and all the rest of it, this is your schedule. So I hope I'm way out in front of that. I always try to skirt the holidays because around here a lot of people have obligations and we can understand that, so we don't try to do that. We do not have anything for June, July, and August, and I think I'm going to open that up right now for conversation on what you want to do in June. In the last meeting we had a discussion that traditionally we don't do anything in July and August. It's way too difficult to get a quorum in here to do anything to begin with and secondly we don't have any business as yet because the budget is just barely being worked on during the summer months so we don't have a lot to sink our teeth into unless something comes up and then we can <coughs> always call um, an emergency meeting and meet so that being said it leaves June up in the air and June kind of falls into the same category you get to the third week in June Everybody's got weddings, they're going away, they got graduations. I have found in past years it's horrendous to try to get anyone in here. Mm -hmm. And you have to ask yourself, why do we have anything pressing in June? So I'm going to leave, I'm going to go around the table, leave it open for discussion briefly, so we're not here all night. And um, how you feel about June? Well, I think it's a little too premature to even think about scheduling a meeting with any, <coughs> without a need. Let's wait until w what transpires between now and May, and if we feel that there's something urgent is coming up, well, then we'll talk about scheduling. But right now, I'm satisfied with the way it looks now. Okay. I agree. Also. I agree. I agree as well. I agree. I would prefer to meet in June and schedule that as an informational type meeting. That's just my All right. Well, let's see what comes up between now and May, and... I'm just not, not sure if you See need if to need book it. it now or not. I have it booked. Okay. All right, so it is already booked. It'll be ours to release. All information, right. Information for what, uh, Brian? Well, that's what well, we don't we know. Can, I'm sure we can come up with, I can come up with some suggestions just for my solicitor right. and some others, but it depends what the rest of the board wants. All right, Mike? I have no, I, no opinion one way or the other. Jerry? I'm okay with this. Okay. The only thing that comes to mind is last month's meeting when we did, you know, broach the subject of possibly having a June meeting. As you recall last year, I made the motion to actually not have a meeting in May and June until September. Mm -hmm. So I don't have any, any big desire to meet any more than necessary. All right. But there were members of this committee, and I believe Richard was one of them, that wanted to get a detailed uh, understanding of the default budget, for example. Mm -hmm. And then there was uh, 
and I, you know, I went through the, 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 the video from the last meeting to create the multi-minute show that you wanted me to create, which I did. As a consequence, I went through it again, but I did not take notes on some of the outstanding items that uh, some of the members mentioned. One that Richard mentioned about the default budget just stands out in my mind. There was a discussion about the uh, New Hampshire Municipal Association issue and the possibility of bringing in an uh, NHMA representative to tell us or educate us on, on what they do, the possibility of bringing Dave Lang in to give, to, to give us his point of view on the matter. Uh, and there might have been a couple other things that I just don't remember at the time. But I do remember we have a number of things from that meeting that suggested that June was highly desirable, though we hadn't decided on actually meeting in June because we were trying to get the schedule out in terms of when these people would be coming in. So that's the only reason I bring it up. I'm going to put that piece on new business tonight, okay, to go back over. Because I've got a couple of questions as we do some of the reports around. But June is still is booked, but I didn't circle yeah, it. Okay. So that right now you nobody shows up in June unless next meeting we change it. All right. 